The skies are painted a crimson hue by the time you draw close to your destination. The setting sun casting elongated shadows from behind the trees. Each is the silhouette of a dagger ready to strike, just as you are at the hobgoblins. Although the rich color reflects warmth in your eyes, rather than murderous intent. Your guides have long departed. Years of ingrained fear. It's of little matter. The land has already begun to take on a downward slope as you approach the depression, and you can follow the aged dirt path the rest of the way. You even have a map, drawn by a venerable dwarven villager that claims to have ventured into these depths during his youth complete with scribbles of where enemies are most likely to be hiding. Ahead, a mysterious figure awaits. They wear a long cloak, with the hood drawn up to conceal their face. Greetings, heroes. Their voice is difficult to place, curiously flat and without accent. I commend your bravery this night, and the great undertaking you are about to make. Yes. It occurs to me there is perhaps an alternative to the obvious path we follow now. Your enemies will doubtless have posted guards where they are encamped. Are you so eager to see their steel build? The stranger gestures to a trail that departs from your current path. The stony gravel far older than the dirt you stand upon now. You notice their protruding finger is skeletal thin and extremely pale. Another route lies upon the stone paths yonder and amongst the ruins. Such passages might even yield precious treasures the fiends are yet to uncover. Surely such wonders might allow you the upper hand against them when you hunt them to their lair. Their peace said, the mysterious stranger abruptly departs, gliding down the path they indicated. I shall await you at the bottom, brave heroes. I suspect you and I shall become well acquainted this evening. <laughs>